Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're going to be playing Altertron. Altertron is a deck that tries to combine Ashnod's Altar, which says sacrifice a creature, add two mana, with Mirror Retriever, which says whenever Mirror Retriever dies, return another target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. So you can sacrifice a Mirror Retriever for two mana to return a Mirror Retriever, uh, which lets you play Mirror Retriever for the two mana that you just added. And then continue to do that. That gives you infinite uh, cast of Mirror Retriever, which means infinite golems, because Golem Foundry says whenever you cast an artifact spell, you put a charge counter on it, and you can return three charge counters to create a 3 3. So for every time you cast Mirror Retriever, you get one charge counter, which is essentially one point of power on artifacts. And then eventually, when you have enough of these, uh, you can have infinite colorless mana. Not really practical on Magic Online, but we have Reckless Fire Weaver for our infinite casts, for our infinite ETBs, which is infinite damage pangs to our opponent. Over here we have a Singleton Blood Fountain, which can recur both our Mirror Retrievers and our Fire Weaver. Singleton Mirror Kinsmith, which is a fifth copy basically of Mirror Retriever. It starts the loop on its own because Ashnaut's Altar can sacrifice Mirror Kinsmith. So you play Mirror Kinsmith for 4 mana, you get a Mirror Retriever. You sacrifice Mirror Kinsmith for 2 mana, play the Mirror Retriever. You sacrifice the Mirror Retriever to get back the Mirror Kinsmith. And then you can uh, play the Mirror Kinsmith if you have an additional 2 mana. You can also start it by having Golem Foundry in play, so that if you have enough mana to cast the Mirror Retriever and you have 3 charge counters, you can sacrifice the new Golem and the Mirror Retriever to make the 4 mana to cast the Mirror Kinsmith. It's a little complicated, but it might come up. Now, one of the things that I've been toying with was, should I play crop rotation or not? Should I play 18 lands or not? I think that it's probably important to respect red in this metagame. And if we're respecting red, we want to have Tron as fast as possible, while also having some crop rotations to fight through raises. And if we're respecting red, we also need to play three Weather the Storms in the main deck. Um, crop rotation can also maybe help versus Ponza decks. And if I'm specifically trying to get Vastron and start chaining through my deck, I probably don't need the three to four Ashnod's Altar. Uh, one person on the YouTube comments noted that I generally side two of them out regardless in almost every matchup, or basically just always. So why are we just even putting them in the main deck? That makes sense. I think. Four Golem Foundries is very important because not only does it give you the mana engine, it also gives you a huge um, threat, which everyone has to respect. Let's see. I really like playing seven or eight Reckoner's Bargain Deadly Disputes, but I think that uh, we can't really do eight in this specific deck, so we're going to go for seven. Uh, and then over here, I'm playing a Singleton Takasha's Dig Site to crop to when crop is in the late game to make our crops relatively useful. It's not going to be very good in our opening hands, so we're just playing one of it. But you, for three mana, you can surveil one, and that may help dig through some of those uh, kind of late game stalls. Remember that you can Blood Fountain uh, gives you a blood token. So in paper, if you have a single mirror, well, if you have the two mirror retrievers and you're making infinite mana, you can Ashnod's Altar, and you have Energy Refractor in play, sorry, because Energy Refractor says two, add one mana of any color, which lets you filter your infinite colorless mana. You can sacrifice your mirror retriever to get the Blood Fountain, and then Blood Fountain back the mirror retriever over and over and over with your, with your infinite mana, because you have infinite black as well. That gives you infinite blood tokens, and then you can simply start looting through your deck to get to the next thing. The secondary loop, if you don't have any cards in hand, would be to use two mirror retrievers. So you sacrifice one for the blood fountain, one for the chromatic star, let's say, something that cantrips, and then you blood fountain back both of these creatures. That gives you infinite card draw, as well as infinite blood tokens. And then as soon as you draw one card, you can just do the make the infinite tokens and start looting as well. I'm not really sure which is the easier way, but you have to depends on whether your opponent's going to just be like, okay, I get it. <laughs> uh, pretty much covers the main deck. I had I had experimented a couple of times with four sphere, four star. I don't really like having more than two spheres in the deck. They're not very useful other than in the opening hands and a little bit of chaining. 
Um, Mezzo had said that uh, the the Popper Geddon, the most recent Popper Geddon winner, that he likes ten artifacts that uh, produce colors, and I do agree with that. Um, I'm going to nine here, and, and uh, two of the Grottos. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Over here in the sideboard, three Quark Clan Shaman for Go Wide Low to the Ground decks, three Scatter Shot for Mono Blue Fairies as well as uh, Go Wide Above the Ground decks. We have an Ancient Grudge to deal with. Uh, relics, just a singleton, since we also have the Blood Fountain in the main deck. And then one Smash to Dust, which is kind of a catch-all. It can hit walls, it can hit relic, it can uh, be a bad electricery. One Serene Heart for Bogles. That might be necessary to go up to two, I'm not really sure. One Weather the Storm, and uh, two Fangin' Marauders. The thing that I'm not positive about is probably this and this slot. Maybe even the Quark Clan Shaman. Uh, based on well, based on this testing, we'll have to determine if we want to have more like life gain stuff. I need something that's like a three or four mana life gain spell that's relatively big that we can use to stall against uh, Red with. So if you know something like that, let me know. I considered Bowler Branch Golem. Because Boulder Branch Golem is a creature, it gains 6 life, and it's a blocker, and you can get it back with Blood Fountain. But it also is an artifact, which they're going to be bringing in Artifact Hate, so something like Smash to Dust would be kind of a pain. We, we would play it and gain 6, they'd Smash to Dust it, and then really only gain the 3. But it did get a Smash to Dust out of our hand, maybe? I don't know. It's also maybe good versus fairies. So we'll, we'll consider if we want any other cards throughout this league. I'm trying to test for the Popper Showcase that's coming up in something like next week, I think. So, anyway, that is my spiel. If you're interested in checking out more about this deck, I've got uh, sideboard guides for a previous iteration. And when we do come up with a solid list for the upcoming showcase, I will uh, finalize the sideboard guide for that as well. Uh, hit me up with a like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the matches. All right, we're here in round one. We have. Two of our Tron lands, we have a Crystal Grotto as well, and Weatherstorm. So if they're red, I think we're okay. We're going to keep it. They are red. Okay, so we have the Weather in hand. We're going to just start with the passing. So the question is, do we play the Grotto? I think yes. Looking for a crop rotation or a map. Blood Fountain we don't want, so let's just play out the Sphere. There's a Swift Spear for the opponent. They swing in for two. We're start, going to start playing on our Tron lands. I will play out the Icker Wellspring here. One nice thing is that on turn three with three lands, we can crack for black, deadly dispute the Wellspring, and then cast Weatherstorm off their turn. Looks like they're going to hit us for a ton. Three here, and then five minimum next turn. So we are going to do the deadly dispute plan. Pass the turn. They play a Synthesizer. We are looking for them to whiff on a land. And they find a Lotus Petal? What? Okay. Well, that's giving us some Storm Count. I did not expect a Lotus Petal, that's for sure. People haven't really been playing that card in this deck. Another Lotus Petal. Here comes a Bushwhacker, I assume. Then we have the main deck Weathers. Reckless Impulse. Mountain. Swiss Spear. This was a ginormous turn. Chain, chain lightning. Okay. No. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six. Well, I don't know what's about to happen. There are two cards in hand. I'm going to crack this for black. Go like this. Deadly dispute the wellspring. Okay. There's a power plant. We need a mine, though. Green. Weather storm. Boing. Gain 18, we're at 32, we go to 22. I'm going to play Power Plant, and then play Star, and Star, and pass the turn. So if they chain off again, we can crack for green and weather. There's a Swifty, Chain Lightning. So I'm actually going to send it right back at their Swift Spear here. 
instead of hitting off a weather. We find the mine. Yes. Swiss spear. Okay, we'll take three, four, five, six. Now we get to do some things. Uh, wellspring. Draw a card. I'll get that founder in play. We can play expedition map. Okay. Now this leaves us three mana. We can deadly dispute into casting weather storm. Dispute this. Now we're going to gain 15. Boing, weather the storm. We're at 28. They have two cards in hand. Three cards in hand now. We've got a Golem Foundry in play. They cast a Ren's Resolve. Find Mountain into Synthesizer. Let's see if they just spam it. We're going to get in. Okay. So now we're going to start flooding the board. Okay, Golem Foundry. Yep. Cast Refractor. Always yes here. And uh, now we got the Golem. Magic Star. So let's cast Mirror Kinsmith. This gets us a Mirror Retriever. So we're on the table. We have blockers for days. Uh, grab that Retriever, cast a Retriever. And then we will cast a Chromatic Star and pass the turn. Well, I guess I can just hold control and then play these out. Now they could have Searing Blazes, but I already have creatures on in play. I'm just going to um, be time sensitive and just play my things as fast as possible. Alright, I went from having no blockers to having five blockers. That's pretty good. Synthesizer. And they hit a Synthesizer, so they get to chain. Another one. Okay. Do do do. A Swifty. Alright. So the reason I think that we were able to stay in this game was having two weathers in the hand, as well as having the opponent whiff on their second land for a little while. Another Swift Spear. So here, I would probably triple block or double block the Swift Spear here, and then block this other one. They're not going to attack. All right, it's fine with me. I'm just going to start doing more things. Wellspring. So here we could crack for the dig site. Play that out. Now we can scry or uh, surveil one. I don't think I need that. Crack for black. So dig site is good so far. Deadly dispute this wellspring. Draw another wellspring. Okay, so we find the combo. And that will be the game. We get to play the Ashnod's Altar. Now we attack with everything. Yeah. Deal them some damage. And then we'll sacrifice the mirror, the uh, Kinsmith, then the Retriever for the Kinsmith. And that'll be it. They're going to block the Kinsmith. Okay. Sacrifice the Retriever. We're going to get back the Kinsmith. So you see we have two mana here. And then we will simply sacrifice this other guy and then play the Kinsmith. Yep, grabbing the Mirror Retriever and they scoop it up. I love when it's fast. Let's go. So we need more life gain. Do to do. We need more board wipes. We need an Ancient Grudge, potentially Smash to Dust as well. So what I like to do here is just go straight up. Uh, I'm a weird control deck. I don't have a win condition outside of Tengen Marauder and Mirror Retriever beats. <laughs> so eventually we're going to get there with our 1-1s one and 5-5s. Five uh, it could be an issue if they stop us from Blood Fountaining, but otherwise we'll be okay. We have so many board wipes. Let's do it. If we find that they like are prepared for this, I'll... I don't know, I maybe take something out, but I think that with their, the way their deck is set up. Okay, we can't keep this. We only have one land. Mulligan. I'm gonna mulligan again. Okay, we have, Far Clan Shaman, Blood Fountain, Double Marauder. I'm gonna keep this and put back the Blood Fountain and Single Marauder. 
We are super weak to a uh, removal spell. We have only two power plants. Okay, land star is good. So now we can play the refractor and then go Kirkland Shaman, sacrifice everything. Obviously, we don't want to sacrifice the energy refractor if we don't have to. Uganda's rank one. Hmm. Maybe it's Uganda's rank one, like it's somebody that smells. Lotus Petal. They smash my star. That is cool with me. They just drew me a card, although I, it did cause me some damage. And then they play a relic. Cool relic opponent. Cool relic. And Wellspring, would you like to smash this and draw me a card again? Power's good. We're getting there. They crack the relic. Okay, double blast runner. So that means that if we can, they goblin grenade us. Wow, that's big. What's this to six? Power, refractor. We're almost dead. That's for sure. Okay, not good. One mana. Do you have another goblin grenade? No wonder that they have it. Lightning bolt, okay. First thing we're going to do is crop. Grab a mine. Play refractor. Looking for a weather, okay. Refractor. Got double weather, okay. Now I feel safe. Boom! Got him. Now they're going to scoop it up. They did not scoop it up. Okay, fine. Fair enough. So now we can play the green. Cast Thing and Marauder. Two mana. Dramatic Star. And they scoop to that. Yay! Nice quick match. We win one. Alright. Okay, we're here in round two versus Lady or Laldi. <laughs> Once again, we have Weather in hand. We're keeping it. It's a burn format. Okay, green. Is it Ponza? No. Maybe not. Could be walls. Could be all sorts of things. We're going to keep the Deadly Dispute. I like that card. <clears throat> so, our opponent went Forest Pass. Rot Farm. Not the biggest fan of Golgari Rot Farm, to be honest. Let's. So they might have Bajuka Bogs and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna pass. So in this matchup, right? This is the Gardens deck or whatever. Basically, mono black control, mono black green control. Yeah. Play land. We just have to get out ahead of the stupid initiative. They're gonna get in. No. They're planning on not attacking for some reason. So what I like about um, Ultratron versus this deck as opposed to Familiars versus this deck is that it's just a lot easier. You know, they're they're basing themselves off removal spells. All right, okay, let's see. I think I'd rather keep the Crystal Grotto around. Go green. Crop rotation this. Grabbing a power plant. So with these specific lands, you can see that this one, mine is green on the left, power plant is peach on the left, and tower is gray on the left. So it's rel relatively easy to find them. Doink. And uh, I'll play out a mirror retriever. Don't really want to lose this to a Bajuka Bog, but I also need to start doing stuff. Ashnod's altar, huh? That's nice. Okay, we're going to deadly dispute this mirror retriever. Grabbing the chromatic sphere from the graveyard. And then let's play Icar Wellspring. Trying to draw into our other mirror retriever, chromatic sphere, and pass the turn. So now, on the next turn, I think we just play out the dig site and start looking through our deck for the uh, mirror retriever. They're going to discard a thorn of the black rose. Plays a swamp. This is an interesting art. 
Can't see it. Or mana. You cast the thorn. Okay. Yeah. I was trying to zoom in, but it's not working. Oh well. They are going to attack. Okay, yield until next end step. No blocks. We will make a attacker. Draw. Uh, play the Wellspring first. Okay, Chromatic Star. Play the Star. Sacrifice for black. Sacrifice for green. Expedition map, huh? Okay, so I can play Expedition map. And then I can crack the map for the polluted mire. Cycle that. So we did not find the mirror retriever, that's okay. Cast weather storm. Just gain some life. Swing out. Kill your thorn. And now we're definitely playing the Takasha's dig site. We have flooded. They're going to attack. Okay, I'm not going to block. I'm planning on trying to put up another attacker so that I can get the monarchy. They play a duress. That definitely sucks. Wow. Bummer. We really needed that in play, so whoops. All right. They get to draw a card. Well, them those emblems. Pass the turn. Dig site. Attack. They have to use a removal spell. Which they have. Okay, that guy's dead. Second main. We're going to, I guess, surveil first before the draw. Graveyard that. Wellspring. Draw a card. Star. Just start cycling as much as possible. Black. Yielding. We find a retriever. Let's play that retriever out. Okay, pass the turn. Now we have two attackers. The question is going to be whether or not to retriever for the altar or retriever for the retriever. But I think we need to retriever for the retriever. They're going to play the avenging hunter and get the initiative. Oh, God. <laughs> Makes me very upset when... uh. The person gets double. Look at this double emblems. Initiative, Undercity, and Monarchy. You know, good play patterns. So the, uh, the do we think that the PFP should ban all these nonsenses? Okay. So now we have the win. Okay. Attack with everything. Yeah. Trick our opponent. Get back the altar. Play the altar. Good, 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 got him. Sorry, I complained and then I was rewarded. Is this normal? Yes. <laughs> Blood fountain. Uh huh. Okay, get back the stuff. And then we're going to treasure. Fountain back the retrievers. Then play out our mirror retriever. Let's let's just surveil once first. Auto graveyard that. We can start casting mirror retrievers. Sacrifice the retriever to get back the blood fountain, so we don't lose our loop. Move this over here. Play the retriever. All right. So let's just go ahead and start doing this. Okay. Make this easier. We just set up the windows. And then what I want to do is make about 30 golems usually. You do this. So I'm clicking there, and then I'm going to click the retriever, press the OK button, and then keep going. And I'll stop talking to save you all from this uh, boring, boring nonsense. We're at 1940 with 10 golems, so let's see how long this takes. Looks like it took about one minute to do full 10 loops. So I'm on like a three minutes to complete the combo. Just so that you know, like moving in through that. And I am uh, keeping my hands on the uh, OK key and stuff to make it easier. Press OK there. It being the second main, I have to be a little bit nervous. 
Is if I OK before or when, it, when it's not on the stack? Oh, what happened here? Oh, uh, got hung up. Interface problems. Anyway, if I press OK when the spell's not on the stack, it's going to pass my turn, which is not re really what I want to do. I accidentally OK'd a couple of times that uh, passed my turn and then I lost. OK, almost there. I would love your emblems. Thank you. Okay, pass the turn. So I'm not going to make the full set of golems right now because they could play a uh, crypt rats and the swamp and then wipe the board. The plan is to simply make enough to for it to matter. They're gonna make their creature a seven six probably, or I mean, if I were them, I might go into the lost well to scry and find the crypt rats. Looks like they're gonna scry. Let's see how they scry. Moves into Lost Well. <clears throat> they went bottom, bottom, so they're still looking for the rat. Main phase. Plays a swamp. Okay, they could rat us. They're going to attack. If they attack, no, no attacks, huh? Do you have the rats? There's the rats. So what I'm going to do is make four golems. One, two, three, four. That way I can attack. We're going to plan on attacking. Okay, we'll play another golem founder here. Attack with everything. They have to crack the rats. And then we just do it again. Luckily we have more golems now. <clears throat> they crack the rats. Okay. Bully for you, my friend. Get a mirror retriever. Play the mirror retriever. So now if we... What we're looking for is maybe our pain creature. We're going to surveil. Graveyard that. Play land. Play swamp. Okay, let's play out this blood fountain. Blood token away this. Another retriever. So we can play the second retriever. Alright, pop this back out. Okay, alter the retriever. Now we have 22, 25. Let's just go to an even number here 24, 25, one more, 26. And then I could alter the retriever for the I think I'm just going to pass. Try to use your time wisely. Generally, the uh, initiative mid rangey piles will do their absolute best to time you out, which is something you just have to be aware of. They make a treasure token. So they can Blood Fountain back the rats, and they can play the rats, but I don't think they have enough mana to take me out. I'm going to keep presenting lethal. We have to get. The monarchy and the initiative before they... Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. So they have two blockers. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Control. One, two, three, six. Grindy mid-range nonsense. Heck with everything. I just want a combo, man. Just let me do it. They're going to let me keep it, huh? I'm going to take everything? Are you really going to let me have the initiative? I'm surprised. Okay. Your retriever. Uh, Any order here. Retriever the retriever. Retriever the other retriever. Play the retriever. Oops. My turn. Surveil. I'm on top for sure. So, star. Now if you're in paper here, you have the infinite draw into, because you can make infinite mana, blood fountain loop, and then draw into your win condition black. But we don't have that, so we're just going to start chaining spells, trying to draw into something. Looking for our win condition. And let's play out a mirror retriever. Another mirror retriever. 
And then let's blood token, discarding this. Magic star, crack it for green. Reckoner's Bargain, okay. Let's Reckoner's Bargain this Wellspring. We find another Mirror Retriever, another Golden Foundry. Uh, let's sacrifice this Ash, this Mirror Retriever for a second Mirror Retriever. Play the Golden Foundry, pass the turn. Mm. We're at 14.21 on clock. Yikes. They make a Menace Creature. Do you have another rat? Post board, it becomes a lot more difficult for us because they have so much interaction with like Bajuka bugs, spell bombs. Ugh. Do glamour. Now we have a ton of power on the table. Just trying to be super hyper efficient. So far, I've been liking this dig site though. Yeah, that sucks. Maybe Bajuka bog can get rid of a retriever. I'm going to let that go. They play a Jewel Thief. Makes a treasure token. Sure. So they've had the Monarchy and the Initiative, and they're still under threat from us. No Crypt Rats, huh? Okay, can we get there? Control. So we're playing, holding control so that we can just put all these on the stack without having to respond to all the triggers, and then we can S6 through the rest of them. Pass the turn. Make a ton of golems. Now I'm going to do my turn, yield until here. Which means I don't have, even have to do anything on my main. It's going to go straight to the attack step and swing out. Bend. And what are you going to do? So we did not use half the full 25 minutes yet, which is good. Right now we're attacking for 25 damage. They can maybe Reckoner's Bargain their Avenging Hunter or something. Go up to 19, but that won't win. They have to have Reckoner's Bargain twice, I guess. Plus a removal spell. 3 mana, 4 mana. So now I'm just letting them do their thing. Like, I'm not going to interact. I don't, I don't really need to do anything. I'm just trying to use my clock wisely. Our opponent's also playing relatively slowly. They... Pulse of Marasa, a Crypt Rats. Cool. Spinning Darkness, go up to 23. Now, I could have uh, hit that, but that didn't really matter. So we take the initiative. Which means that we're likely... There's like no way for us to uh, lose here, unless they play another initiative creature, and then they can't play the Crypt Rats. Okay, no basics. Now we have to turn off this. Play Mirror Retriever. Always yes. Play another Retriever. I wish we would have won that turn. That would have been a lot nicer. Play uh, Expedition Map. Black. Bargain this. Then I'll sacrifice the Retriever. Getting back the Wellspring. Play another Foundry. Play Wellspring. That should be enough blockers. Always yes. And they can't use their Crypt Rats as well. They'll just kill them. Fractor. I should probably stop doing things. Okay, that's the turn. So I'm going to yield until the opponent's attack step. So you can play the clock game, huh? So post board, um, an easy way for us to get past the Crypt Rats would be like Scattershot maybe. So we just scatter shot them on end step. They're attacking, trying to get back the initiative. We're going to block. Actually, maybe we'll make another one. Because if it comes to our turn, block with everything. Oh no, the clicks. Taking so much time. That's the turn. Oops. We're going to go yield until next end step. They kill my retriever, I get back the retriever. We spent three minutes comboing, and uh, they're still almost the same at one clock. Classic. Plays the Crypt Rats. Go ahead. This one. 
So they're specifically just trying to do stuff for clock, I'm sure. That's the turn. Make that thing bigger. Swing out. And they concede. Really? Wow. Okay. Conceded the last second. Interesting. So Smash the Dust can kill their thing. Well, Smash the Dust is good versus rats, right? We're cleanse shaman. I do want to fire. So I can probably just cut the two crops. Smash the Dust for the one thing. Um, do I want another weather the storm? I don't think I really need the weather the storm. Probably want this grudge though. Alright, let's do it. We're going to have to place hyperspeed just to stay in the game. Okay, this is an easy mulligan. Turning on our auto yields. Mulligan. Um, hmm. But we have two opportunities to draw land or one drop. I'm going to keep this and see what happens. High risk, high reward. Any land off the top would give us Tron on turn four. Keep. I'm going to put back the Fire Weaver. It'll get shuffled back into the deck eventually. They go land. Play map. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, the control bug. That cost us precious three seconds. The rest. They can take the Golem Foundry, the, the Refractor. They take the Foundry. Okay. Play this. Map. Okay, so Tron coming up soon. They bog away my Golem Foundry. I am disappoint. Soon they will simply play the Monarch and then ride it out. Play this. Map. Grab the power plant. That's the turn. Now we can map for the dig site. Well, actually, we probably want to map for um, a grotto first because we need the colored source. No, we have the energy refractor, so we don't need to. Here comes the initiative. Blah, I'm here. Revenging Hunter. So cool. Land. Let's track this for the dig site. Go refractor. Draw a card. Wellspring. Draw a card. Reckoner's Bargain, the Wellspring. Draw some more cards. There's a Golden Foundry. Alright. Nice. They use the Undercity to make their Avenging Hunter a 7 6. A big old monster. Nile Spellbomb. I mean. Okay. So we can smash to dust the spell bomb first. I think I probably want to go Golem Foundry, Land, Star, oops, Escape. Play the Sphere. Always yes, always yield. Crack for red. Smash this. Blast that thing. They just F6 for time, so good for us, I guess. <laughs> Star. Star. Retriever. That's the turn. They get to deal us a bajillion damages. So I guess we do want the crop rotations because we want to just go fast. We sense the Avenging Hunter and stuff, so let's rethink that. The Glamour, my creature. Gets in, puts us to three. Okay. So now we need to have a chain of deadly disputes, basically, into the weather storm in order to live. Okay, first step, we're going to attack. Nice down. Black. Yeah. Green. That's the Golden Foundry. That's another golden foundry. It was yes. That's another golden foundry. Or cast a wellspring. Leaving the opportunity to draw into something. 
And we find the weather storm. Okay. Weather. So we're going to upkeep dig site. That's the. Oops. We're at 18. We're taking a ton of damage right now. We do need to chain some more uh, creatures, that's for sure. We swing. We take seven. <sighs> Stupid initiative. Plays a spell bomb. Alright, draw. Going to surveil. Looking for a deadly dispute. Weather the storm. I think that's not going to do it, but I guess we keep it. We're going to swing. Because now if they... They're going to let us have it, huh? Okay, we take the initiative. Grab another land. They crack the spell bomb. Man, this is a brutal matchup trying to play against Golgari initiative. Mono black plus green. We're going to swing, put us to four. We can just F6 here, I think. Unless they play Crypt Rats. Hmm. We get another initiative creature. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Wouldn't it be nice if I could initiative you? Okay. Surveil one. Put that on top. Draw a card. I'm going to deadly dispute the wellspring. Draw some cards. We have a reckoner's bargain. Oh, that's not great. What are we going to bargain? I guess we have to reckoner's bargain the refractor. Does not feel very good. Lay out this crystal grotto. Bottom that. Play a retriever. That's the turn. I probably should just scoop it up, right? Because I'm not going to win anytime soon. And this is ruining my clock. They're attacking for a million. I'm just going to concede. Let's get rid of the card clan shaman. Put the crop in. Gonna trim one sphere. Deep. Star into refractor. We have smashed the dust on the turn they have the relic or whatever. They mulligan to five. We also can't have this uh, fire weaver, so we can win with the fire weaver potentially. What are your five cards you're keeping? Is it gonna be land relic? We go land star pass. Play the refractor turn two. They have a colony garden. I'm going to turn off my upkeep stop. Waste of time for me. Draw some cards. We find a map. That's pretty good. Plays another colony garden, so they have another creature in play. Okay. We could smash to dust their creatures. Red. Nope, not going to do it. Play expedition map. Pass the turn. Pass again. So on my turn, we're going to map for mine, play Wellspring, pass. I really wanted to smash to dust their creatures so they could not just deadly dispute them. Map. Mine. Play the mine. Play the Wellspring. Here comes a dead, oh, Reckoner's Bargain, okay. So that doesn't give them the initiative next turn, which is good for me. Plays a land. Thorn of the Black Rose, although that, you know, that's not as good for me. Frustrating, but it's fine. Boundary. Fractor. You have to always, yes, always yield. Draw a card. Make sure to yield. Play a star. Uh, crack for black. Go ahead and play Mirror Retriever into an expedition map. Pass the turn. Let's go yield and well. They could have a de glamour. <laughs> the stupid avenging hunter. Okay. Uh, I think we might be able to do something. Who knows? Play this. Okay. Map for tower. Play the tower. 
So let's just swing out, see what they do. All right, that's pretty good. Get back to star, play star, Correct for red, one to each uh, creature. Take those out, play expedition map. Then we can sacrifice for the, let's just go black here. Reckoner's Bargain, the Wellspring, draw some cards. A star. Play a Wellspring and a star. We're drawing cards. Star. That's the turn. So they're going to go into initiative, potentially forge up this. No, they're going to go Lost Well. All right. So what do we need? We're looking for Altar plus Mirror Retriever, and that would be the game. But I'm not sure if we can close out the combo in 620. Plays another Avenging Hunter. Okay, they take the initiative once more. Go to Stash. Uh, they're going to go to Creature. They're going to go their own Creature. I mean, I'll block it. But Jukebog's bad. Getting rid of the Mirror Retriever. I don't know why they did that. They're going to swing. That's the turn. We'll get rid of your creature. We'll crack this. Grab the Polluted Mire. We're going to Grotto. See what's on top. I want that. Reckoner's Bargain, the Wellspring. Gain some life. Or five minutes. Golem Foundry. Always yes, always yield. We have five more. Play another Golden Foundry. Always yes. And then I'm going to cycle. Pass the turn. We're really close to winning. Can we do it? They're going to go into draw a card. Plays a Prowler. Okay. Our opponent is running the clock. Getting the card draw from the monarchy, they have to discard the hand size. Discard a rod farm and an expedition map. Always yes here. We're going to grab the dig site. Play that out. Play altar. And then play mirror retriever. And then sacrifice the mirror retriever. To get back the thicker wellspring, spam the wellspring. I'm gonna draw a card, chromatic star or sphere. Okay. More golems. Let's surveil. Uh, put that on top. Um, make a creature. Sacrifice the creature. Green. And then black. So in case we draw into something. Okay, weather storm. That's the turn. Now we have five attackers. Bunch of life. They get another prowler. Now my heart rate is going up. It's annoying. I think I'm gonna pass on making creatures this turn. Let's surveil. Pop that. Play land, let's play altar, pass the turn. They go into the initiative dungeon again. They grab a swamp, another prowler, okay. <sighs> they draw, so we're gonna need 20, okay, wellspring. Land, should have surveilled first. On top, pass the turn. They deadly dispute their prowler. Go into initiative and scry some more. I mean, we might be able to just let them run their clock out. There's a spell bomb. The rest for the weather storm. They crack the spell bomb. So if there's a point where we can make 23 golems, we can win the game because that, that'd be 60 total. So right now we have 30. No attacks. 
Okay. They will also mill out before we do. Although maybe not with the uh, dig site stuff. Prevail. Not on top. Land. Black. Dispute this wellspring. Draw some cards. Magic star. Back for black. Play another golden foundry. Pass the turn. Bajuka bog me. All right. Another avenging hunter. You got it, bro. We're gonna surveil. Bottom. Graveyard. Pass the turn. Let's yield until attacks again. So they're playing some stuff. They got a colony garden. No attacks. Fine. Draw. Mine. Pass the turn. No attacks for the opponent. That's the turn. Okay, I guess I'm gonna let them mill out, huh? Land. Pass the turn. Cast a duress and take my grotta refractor. They pass. So absurd. Yes, yes. That's the turn. Okay, the opponent's taking initiatives and stuff. I suppose they could have deglamors and stuff. I'd kind of have to be careful about. So they wipe with the rats. Six. Lock. 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 Walk. Pass the turn. So now not only will our opponent time out before us, they will also mill out before us because they're drawing multiple cards a turn. And I'm just F6'd. Don't really care if you use the crypt rats. I'm just gonna pass. They have to discard the hand size. Pass the turn. No tax. Pass the turn again. <laughs> they have to discard the hand size. So unfortunately, we they they can't really win the uh, pass the turn battle because they have to continuously discard the hand size because of the monarchy. Pass the turn again. Yes. They're at 23. They discard the hand size. 22 seconds on clock. I think I'm just going to play one refractor so I can have a couple of blockers. Six. The wellspring. All right. No attacks. Let's see if they want to attack. Uh, they're not going to have time. Bleh. Got him. Crime doesn't pay. Timer's going to time. See ya. Round three versus Hydra 89, who's previously been a Walls pilot. I mean, if they are on Walls, we basically can't win game one, so we're just going to keep and do what we can. They mulligan to four, so you're saying there's a chance. Mulligan's to three. Okay, my assumption is they're on Walls. <sighs> Bring in all of my removal spells. 100% of everything. And then I'm just going to get rid of the Fire Weaver, the Weather of the Storms, Kinsmith, two Foundries. So we have a, a chance to eventually combo, but we're only focused on removing all their stuff. Okay, we have uh, Krark. They're on walls. Land Sphere has the turn. So they're going to get in. Play a land, play a star, pass the turn again. No wall for the opponent. I get in. Okay. Play go on foundry. They winding way. They find forest, moldrifter, altasaur, tinder wall. So they're on a cascade walls. Interesting. They have to discard the hand size. What are you going to discard? Moldrifter? Double Drifter. Okay. So we have Ashnod's Altar now. 
Let's just Reckoner's Bargain the Chromatic Star to try to draw some cards and find Tron and find a tower and find a Smash to Dust. <clears throat> so we can go Star and the Smash to Dust can take out one of their creatures. Star again. We can Reckoner's Bargain a Star as well as Smash to Dust. So one, two, mana in play. They get in. Maybe they're just waiting. Okay, we have mine. Play altar. Reckoner's bargain the star. And bop that. Draw some cards. Mirror retriever. Okay. Well, we're kind of simply doing it now. Okay, refractor into draw a card. Play retriever. All right. Refractor. Grab a star. Play the star. Okay. Crack the star for black. Play the blood fountain. Get a bunch of bloods. Play Crackland Shaman. Pass the turn. I mean, what are you going to do now? Hmm. They have three, four, five. Bunch of mana. Three. I could cast a Drifty. Okay. Sure. We're going to make some golems. Pass the turn. We could... Smash this is not very useful here. Another golem foundry, okay. Golems. And then I'm going to... Get a free win. I love it. Okay, on to the next. Okay, we're against Dr. Seraph again, who was on Jeskai Ephemerate the last time I faced them. <clears throat> I'm going to mulligan this hand because it has a swamp, and it doesn't have anything else going on for it. This is not a terrible hand. Not great, though. Get rid of one foundry. Don't really want to play against a wildfire deck. Rotto. Well, that does do the thing. Play Expedition Map. So, we could probably find a time to sneak the full combo through, I think. We'll find out. So, we're going to draw the Kinsmith, Loot Admire, pass the turn. They lead on a Preordain. Plays their Red Land. We'll just start getting Tron pieces. Lay out a chromatic star. Pass the turn. They could have, I mean, they, they have Dawnbringer Clerics in the main deck. They could have smashed us in the main deck as well. They brainstorm. There's a land. Wildfire their land. Maybe wildfire my land, maybe. It's fine. Green. I'm going to draw a card. I would like another land. Tower. Okay, so, hmm, I'm going to play the Kinsmith out this turn, start pressuring them, grabbing my Mirror Retriever. As long as we have lands in play, we can win the game. A couple more lands, so we need to get the Foundry out, then we go Alter into Retriever, win the game. Look for a position where they tap out. So if we draw a Tron land, we can crop and then have 8 mana, so we can go Foundry, Altar, Sack, Retriever, Sack, win the game. Let's see if they did go Drifter Ephemerate. I'm just going to pass. At this point, we can't jam the Retriever out because they could have a uh, Counterspell. We're looking to just play out probably the Wellspring. They're going to Arcane Mancer for the Cleansing Wildfire. Alright. Tron land and win. Practice for green. Deadly Dispute. Play the Golem Foundry. Swing. Greedy player. Doing greedy things. Just wildfiring me into out of existence. Alright, how'd you do? 
They got really lucky that I did not draw Tron land there, that's for sure. Here comes a wildfire on the tower. Nope, smash the dust, that's pretty good. Ephemerate for the smash the dust, huh? Just gonna ephemerate? I am disappointed. The first thing I'm going to do is attack. Bam. Then I'm gonna play out this wellspring. I'm really sad that I drew this swamp. Deadly disputes. They have a dispel. Okay. Uh, Fighting against Ephemerate is uh, not fun. Not fun. I know why everybody's always mad at me now. <laughs> Alright, bring those out. We could potentially try to bring in Scattershot. Kirkland Shaman also deals with the Arcane Answer. And we can loop that. Bring in double Shamans. Try to get rid of their stupid Arcane Answers. We can bring that back with the Blood Fountain. Or we could just bring in double scatter shot. Scatter shot is decent as well. It's kind of hard to say. Just shaman. The only thing that we really, really care about is the um, arcane answer. The rest doesn't matter. So bring in the shamans. Let's see if our opponent can uh, just wildfire us out again. Okay, we have Tron. What more can you ask for? I guess we could ask for the combo pieces too. Land, map, then they're gonna go land, then we go Gitron, and then they're gonna go wildfire you, and then they're gonna go Gitron again, and they're gonna go wildfire you. <laughs> land, okay, get the power plant, pass the turn. They're gonna wildfire me. What? I didn't even see that coming. So greedy. They, didn't, uh, they went basic, basic uh, mountain, basic plains. You have another wildfire. They're gonna evoke a drifter, so we will go ahead and grab our tower. You know, I was considering playing three swamps just because of stupid wildfire decks. It's not you. That it's not. It's not Doctor Seraph that's dumb. It's the. It's wildfire and ephemerate. It just is. Tormod's Crypt. I'm not really sure how I feel about Tormod's Crypt personally. Deadly Dispute as well, Spring. Kind of looking for a crop now. Star, okay. Let's play Refractor. So the only land that we don't have a duplicate of right now is the Tower. We certainly have lands. Okay. We've drawn a lot of cards. They're going to go Arcane Answer, get Wildfire. They just do nothing. We will continue cantripping. Okay, play a Chromatic Sphere. Let's just crack it for black. Let's cast a Wellspring. We're at 40 cards in Library. Right now we have to worry about a... Okay. Um, counterspell. So first thing I'm going to do is get the dig site, I think. Play that out. Pass the turn. So now I can start upkeep dig siting. Sculpting my draws. Wildfire your tower. Okay. Grab another basic. Mm-hmm. Holding up a counter spell. Let's surveil. We're looking for a tower. Crop rotation, I'll keep. Draw. Play a power plant. Now we're just hanging out. Waiting for our opponent to do something. Looks like they really want to wildfire me again. Play an auger bolus. So no wildfires available. They likely have ephemerate and counterspell in hand. If I had to guess, that's what I would say. We're going to upkeep. Surveil. Yes. 
raw. Let's crack this for black. Draw a card. So now we can deadly dispute your spell. All right, so now we have the green. Crop this, grab a tower, play out the golem foundry. Maybe we should black first. Another golem foundry. So we'll play one foundry, pass the turn. That was the counter spell. They, they seem to not have the. Okay, they have a revoke existence. Yeah, that's that's fair. Rainstorm. Storm and off. Rainstorm and off. We're gonna put cards back. So far I've been pretty happy with this dig site. It's been giving me a lot of advantage. It's the 18th land, it seems nice. Should probably tap the tower first next time. Bottom that. Draw. Card clan shaman. Play mine. We're gonna pass the turn. I got no instance. I did not bring in any ancient grudges, so we can't deal with the Corm Tormoth's Crypt. We just have to fight through it, which is going to be hard. We still haven't drawn any of our Nile spell bombs in half the deck. They wildfire my tower. Now they know that we don't have any more going on, which is nice. They're like, yeah, got him. Good, 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 got him. Three wildfires in 23 lands. We have not drawn a single Nile spell bomb. Weird. Surveil. Tower on top. Okay. Draw. Tower. Uh. Pass the turn. Let's yield. Here comes an arcane answer. Or will it be the last wildfire on the tower? The expedition map, or they smashed the dust my energy refractor. Highly mean. Pass the turn again. Not doing anything. We're just sitting here surveilling, thinking about our lives. I'll keep that since it's a colored source. Grotto. See what's on top. Deadly dispute will keep and pass the turn. So now we know we need to draw. We want to draw the top card, which means that we don't really need to surveil. Could surveil before Deadly Disputing. Maybe that's worth it. Three mana, four mana. They go ahead and Arcane Answer back to Wildfire. Which is bummer for me. So I'm going to say no. And that way I can draw into the Deadly Dispute. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Draw. Let's deadly dispute this. Uh, I don't. I can't. I don't even. I cannot even. Okay, I'm gonna play. That's what I wanted to do, right? To kill that thing. I took out two of the golden foundries. Play this mirror retriever. Let's dispute the retriever, getting back the wellspring. See if they crack the Tormod script. Freaking three wildfires. <laughs> GG, well played. Siempre have it. <laughs> Play this expedition map. Pass the turn. Here comes Ephemerate for wildfire. We'll go, yay! You'll do this turn. <laughs> yep. Okay. Wildfire. Thumbs up. Really makes you want to, uh, oh, they got rid of my, uh, my dig site. It was too scary. Too scary. Okay, jeez, come on. No me gusta. Draw for turn. So our dig site's gone. Crack this. We have no more towers left. Well, that's a bummer. Grotto. Play Wellspring. Star. The Refractor. They're literally just strip mining us out of the game. 
Easy day. Red. Let's see if we can uh, do anything. Or they have counterspell in hand. They don't. The only thing, the only threats they're playing is a, an arcane mancer and one augur bolus. The rest are just infinite destruction of everything. And then they have counterspells and stuff. Man, that sucked. Okay, on round five. Round five versus carves. Okay. Carves is usually on some sort of aggro strategy. Well, this is an easy mulligan. Hit that mulligan button. Once more time. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, keep. Put back this and this. I guess we have to put back the deadly dispute. Disappointing, but we're going to have seven mana in all our colors, so that's good at least. See what they're on. Looks like Coggy, so hopefully it's a good matchup for us. We can play Expedition Map, turn two, crack for Tehran, play Refractor on turn three. Be cautious, dig site as well for digging. They play a Modern Age, so I think actually I want to play the Refractor right now in case they have counter spells. Doink. This is, they don't have red mana, so I don't think they're going to be able to uh, wreck me <clears throat> by cracking my map with a Smash to Dust. Okay, they discard a second Prismatic Strands. Ash Barons grabs an island, so they could have the counterspell. We play a Squadron Hawk. Gonna go up to seven cards in hand. Value, value, value. All right, three Hawks in hand. We find the mine anyway. Land. Let's just get the altar in play. Crack. Meyer. Cycle Meyer. So we still need three more parts. We need Foundry and two Retrievers, and we need all of them to be resolving. Okay, their Vector Glider flips. They preordain. All right, they play Cliff Gate, which is red blue. Means they could have smashed us now. First, I'm going to play this and uh, surveil. Let's bottom our graveyard that. Draw a card. They could have spell pierces. Let's just play the chromatic star anyway. I don't care if they spell pierce it. Pass the turn. We're gonna start surveilling on our upkeep. Okay, they play another modern age, potentially discarding a hawk. They discard another strands. Plays a C8. So no um basilisk yet. Let's uh surveil. And I'm going to bottom, I'm going to graveyard that star. Play Refractor. Okay, let's see if we draw land. We do. Okay, land. Try cracking for black to see if I can rip a, uh, did not rip any uh, deadly disputes there. But I did get a Wellspring, so I can cantrip. And I have a Reckoner's Bargain. So Reckoner's Bargain would play into Counterspell and stuff. I think I'm going to pass. Draws a card and discards. Discards a Sacred Cat. The value. They preordain. You go to bottom bottom off the preordain. Brings back the cat. Still haven't found a Basilisk. They could potentially have a Counterspell here. They have not yet played any Counterspells and they've seen 22 cards. So it's very likely. There's another cat. Okay, we're going to draw. Let's play map. Grab another tower. For more mana in play. Let's surveil again. Another refractor. I don't want that right now. I'm going to pass the turn. We're at 13. So we our life total is somewhat under pressure. On their end step, I'm going to play the bargain, and then I can go bargain into um, Blood of the Storm. They have a lot of power in play now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're dead on the next turn if we don't do anything. 
they smash black Mechaner's bargain for wellspring so they'll probably decline to counter they do decline to counter okay we go back to 10 draw a card tower play a tower um so if we can force them to counterspell, then we could potentially get through and combo off with the Fire Weaver this turn. Like if they play counterspell right now, then we go Fire Weaver, Kinsmith, get Retriever, Retriever, Kinsmith, Zap you. But they have Prismatic Strands, so that doesn't actually do anything. But we can play Weather the Storm. Okay. Let's play this Fire Weaver. Play Kinsmith. They might counterspell. Okay, yes. Get the retriever. Play retriever. Okay, sacrifice kinsmith. Sacrifice retriever, get kinsmith. Play kinsmith. Yeah. The retriever. So now I'm going to sacrifice the kinsmith. Play a golden foundry. See if I can actually combo out. Retriever. So this doesn't get got by Spell Pierce. Okay, we win the game. They just didn't have any counters. Fair enough. I don't think we need crop rotations. We need the Ancient Grudge and the Smash to Dust, probably just those. And then we can submit. Carve said that he was pretending he had a counterspell for four turns. <laughs> I was so scared of it. Man. I guess sometimes you have to make him have it. So what do we do? It'd be better for us if we could... Okay, never mind. Everything is saved. Let's see if they have the Smash to Dust on turn two for the map. Map. They don't have it, so we're going to have Tron. Plays a land. Okay, turn three Tron, baby. Turn off the upkeep thing. Land. Go for Tron. Grabbing that power plant. So they play a Squadron Hawk. Now they could potentially brainstorm and stuff. Red has got to be just for the Smash to Dust. Three more Hawks. So they're at eight cards in hand. Maybe they'll discard a value spell, the Modern Age. Okay, well. We're going to attempt to start doing stuff. Play Golden Foundry. Play Refractor. How much do I care about a Spell Pierce? Hmm. Do you care a little? I'll play the Star. So if they Spell Pierce me, the Star getting got is not that bad. Because we already have the Refractor. Do they have the Smash? But they have smashed the Dust. Oh, you know what? Forgot that they're a Dust to Dust deck. What am I doing? I'm just playing stuff out. Okay, there's a squadron. Squadron Hockadoo. Okay, can we find Retriever plus uh, Alter? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Another Tron line is decent. Play Wellspring. Draw a card. There's the Retriever. And now we're going to crack for black, looking for Alter specifically. Blood Fountain, we deadly dispute the Wellspring. Refractor. Uh, we have. We can play this Wellspring to try to draw a card. Did not get there. Chromatic Star. We still have three minute available, so if we crack into the altar here, then we win the game. Let's see if we get there. Did not get there. Can play the Blood Fountain. Alright. So now we have a couple of golems. I'm going to discard this swamp. Find a deadly dispute. Let's go ahead and play the expedition map and pass the turn. The expectation is that if they have the dust to dust, they'll hit golem foundry plus blood fountain, because blood fountain does a lot for me. They preordain. So, so far, no dust to dust. Is Citadel Gate a white? Yeah, white, blue, okay. Blue, Modern Age. 
They're going to discard. GG. <laughs> GG. Okay, well, we, we got there. We got the 4-1. Losing to Just Guy Wildfire. Um, I feel like we just drew very poorly versus them, and they drew very, very well versus us. And we'll see you in the next video. Actually, before we, we sign off, let's talk about the deck. So this was sweet. I like that a lot. Um, maybe it's better than just better than having a polluted mire. Like, I'll, I really like sometimes when you can go um, bobble. So if you have conjurer's bobble in your deck, you can bobble back the polluted mire, and then when you draw an expedition map, you can crack it for the polluted mire. So when you have infinite mana and you have the mirror retrievers, you can like sacrifice retriever for bobble, bobble back the mire, and use your expert, extra expedition maps to draw a card. That is better than the dig site in those cases. Maybe we want another swamp specifically for Jeskai Ephemerate. The other option is to go to more of a um, Ancient Stirrings type deck. And uh, this is one that I thought was pretty sick where we're not playing any expedition maps. Uh, I don't have the other one. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I will go ahead and uh, put this up. But if you're if you have any thoughts on the the deck, let me know. I'm trying to make this good enough to play in the Popper Showcase because I think it's very strong against Affinity and Terror. Question is whether Affinity and Terror are even going to be available or part of the metagame in that. So we'll see. I was happy to. Uh, dunk on mono red in the beginning of this video so <laughs> that's always good we'll see you in the next one have a good day